Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. Now, when we last left off, we took out Sturm and uh, found some interesting things out about Mother Miranda. I mean, they really are drip feeding you information here. I've got a feeling Mia was not Mia. I think Mia was Mother Miranda. And she was Chris's actual target. I guess we're going to find out. Right, let's go. Oh. Oh, we're going to have to fight more of those things, aren't we? Although, we've got to do Heisenberg eventually. And I'm guessing that's going to be sooner rather than later. Oh, this is too perfect. Yes, you know it. I really wish we could just select that. Metal scrap. Right, we're good. Nah, something's gonna go down here. Something's gonna go down here in this nightmare factory. So he said Ethan's got a pretty interesting body. I wonder if he's talking about Ethan being infected as well. Maybe Ethan has some, some sort of superpowers on his own. I'm not sure. Right. So what do we have? Oh, there's nothing in here at all. Okay. You know what that means. Oh, dude. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Not bad. You're persistent. But I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to shoot him. Uh, might want to move, Ethan. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, no. We're not going all the way back down to the factory. Oh, game. Really, game? Good thing this water was here. Did he turn into like some meat thing? Again? Yeah, again, man. Now we're all the fucking way back down here. Ah, oh, waste runoff. Great. Fucking lovely. Ah. Well. Let's have a little look around. It's going to be all the failed experiments and God knows what else in here, isn't it? Ah, remove. Okay. Oh. Uh, hello. I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. What the fuck? You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? <laughs> she changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. The fuck? Oh, shit. Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. This job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hey, 
Give me that wrench. Long story oh. short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> Stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator. I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. <laughs> oh. Okay. So I can't turn back now. Right. Hang on. Hold up. Hold hang fucking stop press minute. So Chris has just been under here all this time building a secret fucking bits and bobs tank with chainsaw launcher maybe i don't know uh all the time well i mean it's pretty obvious that the uh mia wasn't mia because chris was here's a thing right chris was never going to be a bad guy right chris just was never going to be evil like that would have just been shit um but why can they have just explained it. Oh my god, we got a 50 cal as well. Oh, yes. Um, oh god, this... You know, I've got a headache. I've got a headache. I mean, I like it. It's cool. Chris is fucking awesome. Um, but Miranda's been experimenting with the mold, so is she a scientist? What? What's going on here? Exactly. And Ethan... I so uh, is Mia the mother, or is is Ethan just been shagging uh, Miranda all this time? You know, just spreading his seed around. And can we not? Ex can we take a minute to explain that Rose isn't a baby anymore? She's uh, some crystallized mold in four jars. Let's not gloss over that and. Where's Mia, of all things? Okay. <sighs> to Hound Wolf Squad. He's now called Hound Wolf Squad. Okay. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hand on a number of documents to closing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the uh, mutamycite, probably saying that wrong, uh, which has granted her a number of special abilities, including mimicry. Yeah, okay, mimicry, I should say. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winteresses, the Winters, why would you, that's so weird, the Winters home. Her objective was to clearly kidnap Rose. Right, okay, so Rose actually was not from, um, uh, right, okay. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mum. 
Uh, when we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. Then she revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. It might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around. And it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Of course he can. Yes, there's the plot armor right there. Time to turn the tables, Alpha. So, he built this. And if he did indeed build this, why did he make it out of something that he can't control? Okay. I'm guessing this is a point of no return for the end of the game. I guess that's what this is. Now, Chris is leaving quite a big piece. Look at those spark plugs, man. Jesus, that is a hell of an engine. Eight cylinders. Nice. Um, yeah, so Chris is leaning a lot on old Ethan here. Polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I mean, this is this is Resident Evil. This they've got a fucking mech tank. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what? Right. So hold to ready the cannon and then fire. So we've got to recoil this cannon. Spaces to guard. Whoa. Okay, so that's actually like a shield. Oh man, this is cool. Okay. Let's do this thing. Let's fucking tear this place to pieces. Quit hanging around. Can I actually shoot these guys off? That's cool. Looks like the Duke's cleared out right in the nick of time, I guess. So is the Duke one of these mold monsters? I mean, I guess so. Certainly makes sense. Ooh. Can probably blast the gate open. Yeah, probably. Oh, man. Really? Uh, Heisenberg. Jesus, dude. Is that right? Look at the fucking state of him. Look at the state of the dude. That cannon takes a while to reload, doesn't it? Oh, That's got a sting. Who's giving up, chum? Who the fuck is giving up? Not me, that's for sure. So he is... Ah, look. Right, I see. I do like that cannon. It's a beast. Ooh. That looked like it hurt. Yeah, it looks like you're fucked, mate. <laughs> I do like Heisenberg. So, he turned himself into a giant meat machine. Could he, like, turn himself back? I mean... I think they did actually let on before, didn't they? Uh, that they can turn back. Right, I think this isn't going as well for you as you think. 20 years, huh? She's been doing this for 20 years. Oh, 
How do you intend on doing that? Exactly what is Rose's grand power? Uh oh, here we go. My god, this guy's tough. I mean, I never thought we'd be doing... <laughs> I never thought we'd have this kind of battle. I mean, it's like one of those... Uh, it's almost like Robot Wars. I mean, this is a new for Resident Evil, right? This is definitely a new one for Resident Evil. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. He's getting bigger. Hey, no, no, no. You're not supposed to be able to... You're not supposed to be able to... Uh, do this. Dude. I'm just saying. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. You're not meant to be able to control me. Whoa. <laughs> that boulder punching asshole. You've got to be fucking s kidding me. They actually reference that. Uh, um, you know, first they reference the Jill uh, Sandwich fiasco, and then the boulder punching? Seriously? Why would it be hopeless? Yeah, but you're just flesh and blood as well. Uh, yeah, you definitely just look like... I don't know what the fuck you look like. You look fucked up. You kind of look like something out of Fallout, to be honest. Just another failed experiment. Why would I be impressed? Don't know where I'm meant to hit you. Why am I meant to hit this guy? Are we meant to use flashbangs? Uh oh. Alright, let's change out for a flash. We only have one flash. Right, that worked. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's think about this logically. Uh, can we get you to open this for us, maybe? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope, I guess not. Ow. Ow. Does it fucking look like we're done, son? Looks to me like you're falling apart. Right, what have we got in the tank? Let's hit him with a couple of these bad boys. Ow! God, that hurt. Is that actually hurting him? He doesn't have any obvious weak spots. Yeah, well, you might be my only fan, but you're burning. You look like you're about to flame up. You look like shit, dude. You look worse than shit. You look like one of the most ugly motherfucking things that's ever existed in a Resident Evil universe. I mean, maybe the T-Rex? Maybe the T-Rex was uglier than you? But, I mean, you're pushing it. You are pushing new boundaries and new ground. Are you done? You kind of look like you're getting there because I don't know about you dude but I've got plenty left in the tank yet uh oh oh this looks bad this looks bad this looks really bad why is that oh god oh yeah see that tank thing that you're not meant to be <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, we're not supposed to be able to use this tank, remember? Or at least he's not supposed to be able to.
Oh god, look at that. What are we going to get for killing him? Like a T-800? Ooh, look at that. Crystal Heisenberg. What the fuck was that thing? Oh, he's got a phone number. I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm going to find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah. Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? Who she thinks she is? Ugh. Oh. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. That's bad. Kill you crazy bitch. That's really bad. Calm yourself. Rose will be safe. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Oh. Is it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from it's Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come on and face me. Ooh. That looks bad. Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Oh. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks. The ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> okay. We lasted a while without a heart, didn't we? I've waited. But dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait. To see my true child again. So, uh, are we like, uh, dead? Dead? Team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake me in a corpse? Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? Never ends. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. 
Come on, big man. I guess it's you and me now. Oh, this is getting good. Do we get to play as Chris? I mean, who else, I guess? So, BSAA got here already. Yay! Didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Ooh, who are these people? Who are these people? Who's Chris's team? know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. You know what they're doing here. Investigating viruses. together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. Oh, this is fucking cool. Right, so what are we packing? So Ethan's dead, and we are now Chris. Um, okay, cool. I like that actually. Wow, look at that—a mid-sized semi-automatic gun that Chris has customized for equal, equally high power, accuracy, and firing rate. Oh, that's nice. No more of this hand-me-down shit. Easy to handle, fully automatic, capable rifle with the shortest barrel possible. Very nice. Target locator. Laser, laser targeting device. Oh. Distinctive combat knife with a slightly curved blade. Great for close combat. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, it got a bit of a slight curve to it. Med injector. Medicine that fully heals all wounds. Umbrella Corporation, there it is. But the good umbrella, right? So that's like your F8 spray. Um, and a hand thrown grenade that explodes after a short. This is so cool now we're with Chris with some decent equipment. Oh man. Okay. Let's go. Oh, look at the. Wow, is that the village? Jesus, look at the mold. Hey Alpha, what's this? Yeah, that's looking bad. Yes, You're going too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Who are these people? Everyone, it... watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Right, let's do it. Come on, everybody wants Great to play as Chris. Oh, come on! What the fuck? Pathetic. You're dealing with a real man now, boys. Oh, this is cool. This is so weird to have like proper firepower. Well, that's not true. We got pretty powerful towards the end. Let's whip out the old pistol. Let's see what the pistol's like. Now we're not collecting treasure. So it Oh, this gun's not too shabby. Not too shabby. So Chris is used to hunting these things. I don't know if his aim's better either. I'm not sure. Looks like the BSAA. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get caught. Why are we taking out the BSAA? I guess we have gone full rogue. But that doesn't. Okay. Why would Chris have gone rogue? Well, I mean, Chris is working for Umbrella now. You know, the... the uh, thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. Okay. Wow. Oh, dude. 
Yeah, it feels weird to be playing as, I guess, Umbrella. But the good Umbrella. Oh, man. It does not like that. Ah, man, that hurts. Okay, let's switch up to something a little bit more hope to it. Ooh. Intervene, but can we reload this gun, please? Thank you. But surely we're not going to be fighting the BSAA. That doesn't make any sense. I guess Chris has gone rogue? But... I mean, they were saying there was... Um, you know, this shit was totally under the village. Everywhere. It's Mutamycy or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra uh, here, leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. You're one of the good ones. 